When'd you get that net down? I gave it to him before the game. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually my first time seeing it after the game. They told me that it was in there. You know, I, I like that present right there. Remind me of state championship. <laughs> IJ, what, what did today mean for you to, to walk off that quarter winner? It means a lot. You had a lot of ups and downs. You know, you come out with a win, you know, on a scene like this, me being by myself, you know, it means a lot to me. I'm glad that everybody is still positive about this season. You know, the biggest thing for Zay and all the rest of my teammates, they pretty much said that they're not going to let me go out with another losing season. You know, hearing that from them, you know, boosts me even more than what I am now. You know, I appreciate it. You had a big night tonight. Several of the guys, you know, had eight or nine, or, you know, more points than that. So how much did it help you guys to have IJ out there, you know, 13 assists, just kind of orchestrating things like that? Okay. It helped a whole lot, I mean. It's the number of people that sell at 13 assists. There ain't too many people doing that. But, uh, I mean, IJ brings a lot. IJ brings leadership. He brings intensity. He brings <coughs> all the right plays. He just he just always makes the right plays just at the right spot at the right time. And he, and he has a high IQ for the game, so he makes everything easier for everyone else. Hi, Jay. Uh, what is something that you're going to miss most about playing in the hump in front of this crowd? These guys here, my teammate. You know, it's, you know we go to battle every day when we out here in the hump, but it's what happened behind the scenes in practice, off the court, uh, function, you know. It's a real brotherhood. You know, I've, I've been on teams, you know, there's probably a couple of us pretty much bond, but <laughs> with this team here, everybody bonds together, you know, and it's pretty much not a drop off. IJ, what do you see for the future of Mississippi State basketball? What Coach Holland brings, NCAA uh, appearances. Like I told Antoine Jameson and the guys on the ABC <coughs> Network, uh, I'll be calling these guys next year. They, they better have a, a twenty point, I me mean a twenty, a twenty win season next year. They have all the, they have all the tools and the ability to do it. And they think I'll be gone next year, but they will hear a lot from me if that don't happen. Then we got you and Q and uh, Eric will be juniors next year. Just talk about taking that medal. By Jay and being the leaders of next year. Um, <coughs> you gotta pick up where he left off. You gotta, uh, you gotta be leaders and, and lead his team in the right direction, which he's, which he's trying to do. And he's, uh, he's, in, and he's uh, putting that into us to be leaders also. You know, by him doing the things he do, we see him doing the things he do and how he lead, and we see uh, how it works for him. So, so we try to lead too. Like, like me myself, I would be trying to. Uh, to be one of the leaders on the team this year. Actually, what made the back door cuts work so effectively against LSU's defense? Oh, the pick and roll. You know, we had that rim protector out trying to, you know, stay in front of me and stop me from having vision. And with the athleticism that Q and Zay have, if I'm going to them, you know, I could just <coughs> out pass and they finish at the rim or I could throw a lot if we're going opposite. But, you know, Zay and Q, I think it'd be hard to find better finishers at the rim than it than it is with them, and they did a great job of cutting when their man was focused on me. One more question. Uh, Zay, the, the bench had 32 points tonight. Uh, what what do you attribute that to? Uh, that's big. I mean, it's something we need every night for our bench to come out and, and bring energy like that. But, uh, that's real big, and, and it really helped us uh, succeed today and get us a W. Our bench play really helped. IJ, the first half was one of the team's best offensive performances in a while. How long has it been since you felt like the team was playing that well offensively? Probably since we had the three-game win streak at the beginning of the season. I think we shared the ball a lot better today. Uh, nobody <coughs> cared about, I think, shots and who scored. And pretty much the stat sheet shows everybody had at least five points that, that played. And, you know, that's, that's big for, for everybody on the floor to be able to contribute. Cross your mind, I just maybe throw up three or something late and try to get the double double. Uh, it did, but I think I was more on them about missing wide open shots because I wanted to have the record on 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think me having more assists was more important than double double. <laughs> All right.